to take you to this restaurant. Oh, where are we going to go? It has this amazing pasta and five-star sauce. Oh, I can't wait. Yep. To breathe, but I'm under the weight of all these feelings I have to bury. I'm I know, you're right. If it's not the quality food that brings people here, I don't know what does. Maybe it's because it's in Lower Manhattan, the best city in the world. Or maybe it's the fact that the food is cheap. That would explain a lot. What do you mean? The onion bread was so strong it made me cry. That's what it does. It makes you cry so you don't have to sigh. <laughs> That's a lame joke. Yeah, well, it's lame that it makes you cry. <sighs> That brings up an interesting question that I've been meaning to ask you. Yeah? How are you holding up? I'm, I'm doing fine. I mean, it could be worse, but, but me and Ken are doing just fine. How about you? Me? I mean, I'm starting to get used to how things are. Yeah, you think something unexpected's not gonna happen, and then it does, and it, it changes your whole schedule, your whole routine. I do know your whole routine. <laughs> How's your new job? I fly around the world. <laughs> how can you ask me how I appreciate my job? Yeah, well, flying around the world is something everybody wants to do. It can be tiring. Till I secretly stare down at unexpected people dancing when they think no one's looking. <laughs> I feel sorry for the poor son of a... <laughs> oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh. It's been a great experience. I mean, great food, great conversation, great stories. Well, thank you ever so much. I don't even know how much I could thank you. You're here. That's all that counts. Mm -hmm. I guess so. <laughs> Still. I wish I could stay a little longer. I understand. You have things going on. My schedule's clear. It was nice. Excuse me, sir. Uh, yes. Here's your check for table of one. Yep. Table of one. Tonight 